Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie. I do do beauty reviews, tutorials, tutorials, unboxings, and giveaways. We kind of got a review and a tutorial all in today's one. We are reviewing by Tarte, the Tardiest Pro Amazon clay palette. I did receive it a couple months ago in a boxy charm and some of you guys said that you wanted multiple looks from it and kind of a review. So that's what we are doing in today's video. I do have a couple giveaways going on. Make sure to check those out in the description box down below. One of them is huge for our 1000 subscriber way for me to get back to you. It has over $400 value in the giveaway. Make sure to check that out. All the information is in the description box down below. If you can do me a favor, um, like this video if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And let me know which of the looks is your favorite that I created in the comments down below. It just kind of helps the algorithm out to help promote my video. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk just a little bit about this, do some swatches, do the show you the multiple looks, and then give you my final thoughts on this. So like I said, this is the Tarte Tardiest Pro Amazon Clay Palette. It does retail for $49. You can see mine's kind of well used. It has a big mirror on this side. And then here are the really pretty shades in here. And what it kind of says about this one is teach yourself and impress your friends with your new shadow skills using this 20 piece eyeshadow palette that's formulated with pigments to help you look like a pro. It does have 16 long wearing matte shadows and four iridescent micro shimmer shadows infused with Amazonian clay for smooth blending without chalkiness and flake resistant wear. It's deeply concentrated mineral pigments and smart blending technology give you the best even in an even and intense payout. Like all Tarte palettes, you smell it and I immediately get the vanilla fragrance in here. So if you are sensitive to that, be a lookout. But I I really like the smell of vanilla. I love vanilla and cinnamon together, especially around the holidays. So let's get into some of the swatches. Let's do this top row first. Classic is this light cream color. Innocent is a soft peach color. Whimsy is a brick toned color. Smoked is a dark brown that I love using in the outer corner. Ethereal is a bronze shade that looks really pretty all over the lid. Vintage is a light ivory shade. Fierce is a cool toned plum color. No filter is a purple mauve. Vamp is a deep plum. Glam is a champagne shade that I love using on the brow bone and on the inner corner. Jeek is a pale pink that is really close to my natural color.
Pro Fresh is a taupe shade. Mod is this deep cherry. Drama is a maroon shade. Minx is a shimmering mauve that is gorgeous as an all-over lid shade. Indie is a grayish shade, perfect for transitions. Bold is a light brown. Edgy is a chocolate shade, great for creases. Punk is a black shade. It does a great job of deepening the outer corners. Trendy is my favorite shade in here. It is a prismatic teal multi-chrome. Look how it shifts between the teal to a bronze to almost a black color. Okay, now let's go and uh, take a look at some of the looks that I created for you, including this one. I started off by priming the eyes and then I went in with an all over lid shade, really light with indie for a brow bone i used glam for transition i used bold for crease i used edgy outer corner buildup is punk for inner corner upper lid i used glam and then i took trendy all over the rest of the lid lower lash inner corner is glam and then i tight lined trendy Right underneath that, I put bold, and then I kind of buffed that all out on the lower lash with classic. I started out by priming the eyes, and then I went in with the brow bone of a Vintage. For transition, I used Fears. For crease, I used No Filter. For inner corner lid, I used Glam. Center lid, I used Mod. And then the outer lid, I used a Vamp. Lower lash, inner corner, I used Glam. I tight line, no filter. And then I smoked that all out with Chic. I started off by priming the eyes and then I went in with an all over lid shade of classic. For transition, I used Innocent. For crease and outer corner build up, I used Whimsy. Inner corner lid, I used Vintage. Center lid, I used Ethereal. Outer corner lid, I used Smoked. Lower lash inner corner is vintage. Then I tight line smoked and buffed that all out with whimsy. I started off by priming the eyes and then I went into the brow bone with the shade classic. For a transition, I used chic. For crease and outer corner build up, I used pro fish. For inner corner lid, I use Glam. Next to that, I put Mod in the center, and then on the outer corner lid, I use Drama. I did take Minx all over the lid 
upper lower lash inner corner I used glam and then I tight lined mod in the center and then drama on the outer corner and then I smoked that all out with profesh. I started off by priming the eyes and then for the brow bone I took classic for transition I used fierce for crease I used drama and outer corner buildup I used punk inner corner lid I used glam and then I took trendy all over the rest of the lid lower lash inner corner I used glam and then I tight lined drama and smoked that all out with fierce I started off by priming the eyes and then I went into the brow bone with glam. For transition, I used innocent. For crease, I used edgy. In outer corner buildup, I used smoked. Inner corner lid, I took glam and then I took ethereal all over the rest of the upper lid. Lower lash inner corner is glam and then I tight lined trendy and then I smoke that all out with bold. So I think I kind of have a tie for my favorites, the very first one and then this one. I will say that both of those looks used trendy down here. This multi-chrome is so, so gorgeous on the lid. I've got that on the lower lash right now. Which of the looks were your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. So my thoughts on this. First, there is a lot, a lot of kickback um, in the shades. And that kind of was like, ooh. So make sure that you tap, tap, tap your brush off before putting it on your face. I will say that the shades blended great. I didn't have any problem. It was a blending dream, actually, using these. And there, it was the formula was more creamy than... I would expect for a loose eyeshadow and so that I really did like and it they lasted all day I loved it you know you can do a more subdued office type look or you can blend it out for a nighttime look as well I think it's a really great versatile palette with all of the different pigments in it you could almost even use it as a face contouring one using this row kind of for blushes and a little bit of these for contouring as well if you wanted to save space on a travel palette so i do recommend this i have loved playing around with this i hope that you guys have enjoyed this review if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. It means the world to me when you do. YouTube will now go ahead and insert a couple other videos for you. If you have the time, I greatly appreciate you watching them. You guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I will see you soon. Bye.